Hey guys, it's Sam from Tech Fusions here, and today we've got another great unboxing for you. We got the Goofone i6 version 2. Now, this is a one to one replica of the iPhone 6, where what they think it's going to look like. And this is a quad core version, it's running the MTK6582, and this is from dhgate.com. So, keep watching to find out more. Before the video starts, I'd like to say a big thank you to dhgate.com. They sent me up this device to review for you guys. So go and show them some love. Go and check out their website. They've got some awesome devices, including this one, on the website. So go and check it out. The links will be down in the description. Also, if you want to purchase this phone after the unboxing, go and check out the link in the description. So we got the Goofone i6. Now, this is the second version of the Goofone. Well, apparently, this is actually made by Goofone. HK, the official Goofone company. How can you tell that, you say, Sam? Well, you see this little badge here, if we focus in on this. There we go. This bit here, the official one has this stick on. You can scratch off this, and you can sign into their VIP, uh, like forums, where you can download ROMs, download applications. They talk about different stuff for the phone updates. So that's got the sticker, so this will get updates, and people will customize it. Well, Goofone will customize it, which is really awesome. So. That's a great thing. So if you're looking to buy one of these, make sure it's got this sticker. I got a seller who sells the official ones in the description. Go and check that out as well. So the Goofone i6. I'll keep wanting to say Goofone iPhone 6. A bit strange. It is an iPhone 6 lookalike jobby. It's supposed to look like the real iPhone 6 when it comes out. So let's see how much in comparison it will look like in the future. So I'm going to get a real iPhone 6 and compare it to this. But anyway, enough bladdering on. Let's have a look around the box. So we've got the Goofone. It looks like the Samsung Galaxy S5 box. So I'll quickly grab that. There you go. Yeah, kind of a mix between the two, isn't it? I like it. I like it. On the back, yeah, it's, again, it looks like Samsung. But if we have a look on the back, it says a 5-inch screen. Now, I know that is not a 5-inch screen. It's a 4.7-inch. Now, the resolution on the screen... This one it can be either of these two. I hope it's the 720p screen, but we'll soon see when we open it up. Now, I know this version is the one gigabyte of RAM and the eight gigabytes of ROM. 13 megapixel um, camera, and that's the back camera, five megapixel front facing camera, dual SIM card slot. Um, it's got the frequency, so it supports 3G. Got Wi-Fi and then all this other good stuff, including a 2,800 milliamp battery. So the battery life should be really good on this. And 7.8 millimeters thin, that's crazy. And then it's got the Goofone HD, blah, blah, blah. That looks really good. So I'm just gonna zoom back out and we'll go back into the box. So if we open up the box, let's see. I'll do it in the black, so let's see how good this is. Well, there we go. Let's get the phone out, have a quick peek at the phone. Wow, I've got to say, that feels nice in the hand already. It's got the actual metal uni body, the camera on the back. And see, this version, it's got the Go Apple logo on the back, but you can order it with the Apple logo. I didn't say about it, actually. That's why I got this version, but I don't mind. It's no problem. You can just put a case on it or whatever. But I've got to say, this looks really nice. I'm going to compare it with the iPhone 5 I've got next to me. But we'll put this one to the side. We'll come back to it. I've already got some fingerprints and all that good stuff on it but yeah I'll show you around the phone in a minute we'll see what else we get inside the box there we go open up this so we've got some accessories here we've got the wall charger which no use to me because it's the American adapter so I don't need that I've got loads anyway we have got not one USB cable but we got two so that's awesome it's got the lightning port as well they look pretty high quality so hopefully they last for a long time Put them to the side. Always nice to have two charging cables. We've got these earbuds. Now, these don't look anything like the real iPhone ones. So, if you get a box with this, then you know they're replicas. But, yeah. Oh, well. Free headphones. Throw them to the side. What else do we have? Got mobile manual. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so, this has some little details. Nothing too amazing there. Then we got the SIM remove tool, which all iPhones should come with because that's the final thing to put your SIM card in. But anyway, 
let's put this to the side and take a closer look at the phone. So here we've got the phone, here we go, it tells you where everything is on the actual, this like removable cover. So we've got the, what does that say, range, range sensor. So yeah, that's just like sensing if your ears near it. You've got the front facing camera there, which is 5 megapixels, power lock key on the side, there we go, then SIM card tray on the side as well. On the bottom we got the loudspeaker, lightning port and the 3.5mm headphone jack with the uh, microphone on the bottom as well. We've got two screws as well so we can undo that. On the side we've got the volume up and down with the mute switch, so that looks really nice. Then on the back we have got the 13 megapixel camera, single LED flash, got a little Goo um, phone logo there, and we got the Goo phone and the information on the bottom. Now the back looks more blue to me than black, the front looks black, the back looks like this deep blue. I really like it though, it feels really nice in the hand, and if you look how thin this is, I'll just get um, the iPhone 5. See that makes the iPhone 5 look fat, what's that about? But you can see how much bigger it is between those two, right there. Anyway, let's put that to the side. I'm going to say more about that in the review. Let's take this off. Wow, that's looking nice. If we boot it up, see the boot animation? So this is running the MTK6582, which is a quad-core processor, and it's a step up from the last uh, Goo phone i6 well they were calling it the i6 uh, clone but this is actually by goo apple so i expect good stuff now it's looking really nice when i turn it on the screen it is looking like a 720p screen to be honest yeah i think it does look like a 720p screen so that's really nice to have and if we swipe down to the top so it's got ios 8 kind of looking like theme on top of it it's supposed to act like it there we go it's hard to operate through a screen, through a screen, through a screen, looking through my camera. Anyway. Yeah, so the applications, if you have a look at the icons, they don't look exactly the same as iPhone. They probably did this on purpose. They didn't want to get like sued or anything. But it does look pretty good and pretty close. And the background moves about, I think. Yep, there we go. This looks really nice. So if you want to see more videos on this, please comment down below. I hope you liked the unboxing. Also, if you've got any questions about this, please put in the comments down below as well. I'm probably going to do a camera test, benchmark gameplay, comparison to the iPhone 5, screen resolutions, and all that kind of good stuff on this phone. I want to do a couple of videos, see if you can upgrade the SD card, and if you can flash it as well. That would be pretty awesome. But I hope you liked this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Tech Fusions video.